officially switched to GPS. God save me, GPS. I have no clue where I am. I'm hoping my GPS is going to kick in soon. I haven't heard it talking to me. So I'm not sure if it's keeping track of where I am, where I'm going. Oh, paranoia is getting the better of me. I'm going to pull over and check and make sure my GPS is working. I'm also starting to think this deal with the remote doesn't have to do with proximity. Maybe it's not a, a range problem. Maybe it's a line of sight problem. Because I've noticed if my head is turned to the left and I mash on the buttons, then they don't work. But if I face the camera toward the remote, then it'll work. So I'm going to try that out from now on. This road makes me feel like I'm on a speeder bike racing on the forest moon of Endor. Super cool. It's beautiful, gorgeous, thick forest. wet here so I'll be careful. Oh, I'm a little scared to push it on this road. The 84 was really nice because uh, the pavement was so smooth. It's like a well-kept road. But this one, I think this is the 35. Bumpy as all hell. I don't really trust it at a lean. So I'm taking it kind of easy just in case. Holy fuck. Hit a bump like that in the middle of a corner and you are probably headed straight into the guardrail, or over a cliff, or into a tree, or whatever it is. Wow. Oh, man. Wow. I did not realize how high up I was. We are on a mountain in an incredible forest. I am really impressed. I did not know this was here. It really does feel like another planet. I grew up in LA, and the, the what what's called the greater Los Angeles metropolitan area is, well, first of all, it's planted in the middle of a desert. Technically, it's not a desert. It's considered a, a Mediterranean climate, but it's more or less a desert. It's like sand and dirt and shrubs and the occasional palm tree. I think it's just the temperature that causes it to be defined as Mediterranean instead of desert. Maybe the wildlife that lives there, I'm not sure. In, in any case, it's, it's more or less dirt and shrubs and horrible urban wastelands and suburban wastescapes. It's just, it's a, there's nothing beautiful there except for the occasional beautiful piece of architecture. If you go outside of Los Angeles, like if you go to Malibu or you go up into the mountains, then there's some beautiful stuff there, but nothing quite like these forests. Nothing as beautiful as this. Nothing as lush and rich and alive as this. It's wonderful. It's wonderful to, to come and experience it once in a while. I've been here before, but I was a tiny boy and I don't remember it. And now I believe we have begun our descent into madness. Oh, there's a city out there. I don't hear any instructions. What the fuck is going on? Did I do it? Did I continue straight? My GPS says continue straight, but there was no option to continue straight there. So I turned on to the 92 because that's where the sign said San Francisco is. And we'll see how accurate that turns out to be. And where is that? Did I do it? Turn left onto Old Canada Road. Where is that? Shit, well I guess I'll continue heading east on the road I'm on then. Am I doing that? Am I doing it? Oh god. Oh, well I'm completely lost now. Absolutely, totally lost. Here's water. 280 North. I believe that's what I want for San Francisco. Let's do that. I need directions, GPS. What freeway do I take? Oh, come on. Uh-oh. It could be because this is the new Google Maps. It doesn't know any freaking better. Did you see that bird? In one and a half miles, 
take the exit on the right. Thanks, GPS. What exit on the right might that be? Is it Mariposa Street or is it 6th Street? Um, I guess it's 6th Street. 6th Street. 6th Street. 6th Street. They should just call it Street 6. Ah, there she is. San Francisco. Seems I'm not the only one who wants to exit 6th Street. 6th Street. Take the 6th Street exit. Continue on 6th Street for a half mile. I'll try. Jeez. Slight left onto 6th Street. 6th Street. I guess that means go straight. Oh, I'm getting tired, man. This is... This riding is finally starting to wear on me, man. It's been two full days of it. From the hour I woke up till the hour I went to sleep, or, or until now. Uh, I'm getting to need gas pretty bad, too. So, yeah, I woke up yesterday. Pretty much just spent an hour getting my crap together, and then I hit the road. And then today, same thing. I woke up, hit the road. And it's just been straight up riding ever since then. And I've, the only rest stops I've taken have been for, uh, you know, to take a picture here and there and to eat. Other than that, it's just been straight up riding the whole time. And it's, my back is starting to get sore. And my, my legs are starting to get sore. My wrists are starting to get sore. The whole shebang. Come on, GPS. I'm going to follow this taxi because I don't know what straight is here. What kind of intersection is this supposed to be? Yeah, it's probably better I don't try to split here. Homeless people just walking in the street? What is this chaos? What are we doing? Are we going over the top? Send the GPS. east on Bush Street towards Taylor Street, but I'm already on Taylor Street. Where the hell am I? Oh, gods. Wants me to turn left here now. My GPS is taking me on the grand tour of the city, I guess. I don't know where I am or where I'm supposed to be anymore, but my GPS is not being terribly helpful. Turn left. Okay, I'll try. Going in circles now. Oh my god. How long has that been unplugged? Wonderful.